<laughs> okay, well, we just had lunch with Michael of the Cult of Vintage on Instagram, and uh, we're about to go follow him to his honey hole. His best kept thrifting secret. And uh, we're hoping to find some goodies today. So we're gonna take you with us. Are you ready? I guess. Here we go. We'll see you in a minute. 38 South Thrift Store. All right, so Michael was kind enough to bring us to his honey hole. And you can see when I say honey hole, this place is amazing and it is so full of amazing things. Say hi, Michael. Oh my God, hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're not expecting that, were you? <laughs> no, no, he not. And you can find him on Instagram. He is Cult of Vintage. Sure can. And I will Cult link that vintage. down below in the description. Oh my God. <laughs> but he was kind enough to uh, bring us here and I'm like, I'm overwhelmed. This I'm is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I am I am still processing, I think. I am still processing everything that is here. I mean, we've got some beautiful glass. And this is just room one and, and it apparently goes on and on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I absolutely love this stippled dot. But unfortunately, it's got a little bitty chip, so I'm going to pass on that. But I did see over on this side. Let's sneak a little. We've, we've got a whole wall of glass here. Oh my gosh. Down here. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just stunning. I mean, does Walter want to ship that? Probably not. <laughs> oh, boy. Over here. Got some beautiful glassware here. Got stippled rays. So you guys are probably wondering what that means. And usually when the rays are textured like this or the dots are textured like this, that's where it gets its name. There's more over in that corner. I see critters on that shelf. I will climb over. I don't think I can reach it, but. This is nice. That's a pottery. It's got an owl on it. Price $10. Do you kind of like that owl? And I was actually looking down here, right? <laughs> this. I do like that piece. It's a nice piece. And this one right here. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? Um, I believe this is Japanese, but I do like the shape of it, I like the color. So I'm gonna grab this piece. Um, and we're gonna look over here. Now this is modeled after a Murano Angel. I do believe that this version is Chinese. I love those, those red swans. I mean, I'm kind of obsessed with them, I'm not gonna lie. I want to get to them so bad. That was just wood. Just wood. Yes. Glass wands. Goodness. A hair receiver. Jeanette glass. 
And up here we've got a check picture. It's quite nice. Unfortunately, we've got a little chippy there, but we've got these guys. These are great. They are in Japan, but this back here. I think I'm gonna grab this guy. Now, okay, so this has got the cowboy branding on it. And I love the old restaurant wear pieces with the cowboy branding are pretty good. I'm not sure about this brown piece. Um, I do like this. It's a dolphin head. It's a brown drip, red wire. It's marked Japan, but it's a dolphin's head. And I do like that. Well, we've got some little ladies over here. I do like the looks of her. What is she marked on the bottom? She's not marked. Eh, Napco. There you go, Napco. But it's not marked. Oh, she's got some damage. Andy Kerr. Carlisle. Oh! Their last name only has one R. But it's a Carlisle Kerr. Ooh, I wonder if they're related to I Nikki. Don't know. I'm, I I mean, I'm almost willing to buy this bottle just... Just to find out. Just to find out. I mean, Nikki would be really excited if that was a relative. I feel like. It's kind of cool. I think that's awesome. Wow, there's a lot of stuff happening in here. I see some Looney Tunes glasses. I wonder if we've got any slow pokes in here. I feel like we should look. It is a lot of trinket boxes. This would have came in a pair. Yeah, it's a hair receiver. Did you find it's matchy match? It's good you there's no tag on it. I can like this guy over here. I have a pair of those at the shop right now. And I really like her up there. I'm gonna reach for her. I'm gonna hand this to you though. Can you hold this for a moment? Don't drop it. What are you going for? Lady with the frilly dress. Lady with the frilly dress. I don't know who she is, but I really like her dress. She's pretty, right? It's cool. I guess if you're into. <laughs> it's a cool frilly dress. Lady, lady. <laughs> frilly dress things. It's not my thing, but hey, if you're into that, go for it. I'm really into it, ladies in frilly dresses. I like her. I will take her. She will be my friend. This little dog trinket box is cute. Little dog Oh, that is cute. I like that. Three bucks? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was just looking to see if there was any, like, maybe unique or odd-looking trinket boxes. There's a cat one. You totally neglected the purple cat. Purple <laughs> cat and the blue dog? Purple cat, blue dog. I almost feel like they're more modern now. I feel like they are, but I still like them. I'm not saying I dislike them because they're modern. I still like them. I see a windmill. This is great. Oh, I see something I like. Can you hold Frilly Dress Lady for me for a second? Frilly Dress Lady? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to reach up here. And scoot these people up of the way. Yeah, that's what I thought that is. Probably plastic. <laughs> Never mind. But maybe it could be porcelain, but it is not. So we're just gonna keep moving. This is nice. I kinda like that. It's got the actual coral on it. And I'm not sure if it's a creamer though. I mean the spout. I guess it is a spout. Kind of a weird spout, but I do like that. I don't see any pieces that match it. But I do like it. What have you called these salt and pepper shoes? This is what we call trash-tastic. It really is. I... I love them. Uh, <laughs> there's even little flowers. Oh boy. And if that wasn't enough for you, because how could that be? <laughs> 
can get your matching to. Oh my gosh. I mean, you kind of got it. But you said... It's all together. I need something else to complete my set. <gasps> but wait, and there's she more? Said, That's okay because I have something for you. There is a candlestick holder. Now this one... Is... It's a souvenir piece. It is. It's a souvenir to say, I've been to Florida <sighs> once in my life and I could put this on my table with pride. And I said, out of everything in Florida, this is what spoke to me. Absolutely. Gosh. <laughs> the bling, though. That's fun. How can you not? Oh, wait, is it not? Is it a vase? I think it is a vase. It's a vase. Is it a vase? It's a bud vase. vase. But would you really want to just put anything in there to distract from that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think anything can distract from that. Mm. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed. I, I, I need to know who thought, let me crush up shells, pink shells, add glitter. And, and do this. But this is what's getting me. This is old. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Look how new this is. I don't think it's terribly new. Uh -uh. Look at It's anchor honking. So how, maybe they replaced. It's possible. They were like, well, this lid is worn out. We need to put a new lid on there. Yeah, I mean, you can get replacement lids. Yeah. For shakers. I mean, if they were totally roached. Or maybe they're like, we just need to make matching salt and pepper shakers because we already have the vase. True enough. And we already have the toothpick holder. Let's make matching salt and peppers. They're both. I don't think the vase was. I can't imagine it would be now. Out of all the lobster stuff we get, we're going to do it. This is the most fun. That is the most fun. I feel like that's the most fun lobster really dish I've ever seen. Creamer. I did. Did you not think I would? I don't know. For me, it was because I like the Royal Bayreuth. Yeah. Is so, it Royal Bayreuth? It's no. no. I was going to say, I don't think it is. <laughs> this is kind of cute. It's brass. <coughs> it's got peppermint sticks on it. I think I like peppermint. I think I'll take this. Oh my God, you were blocking me from finding the figurines. Oh, do you know what I found here? On purpose. Yeah. Do you remember the skunk you got in Ohio? Yeah. I found one. <gasps> Plus his mate. This is missing really? a lid. Really? Yeah. This is missing a lid. It doesn't have a lid. Those are arms. They're arms? They're arms. It's missing its lid. You just fun sponged. I'm sorry. The most amazing creamer in the whole world. And that's... I, for yeah. I will forgive you in my heart. I'm missing its lid. Okay, fine. Did you see that Royal Hager piece over your shoulder? Do you, I wonder who put it there? It's, it's not marked. marked. It's not marked. But pretty. I'm pretty sure. The glaze looks right. I'm pretty sure. It, I mean, the glaze is right. Oh. I mean, it's really old. It is. I love it. That's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Is Royal it marked? Bridge. Oh, oh, I like it. Ooh, I like that green one. This is the butterfly handle. Royal Hager piece. She's a cutie. It's $4. It's $4. It's $4. <laughs> and it's called the butterfly handle because if you look at the handles, they look like butterflies. I'm basically hugging everything. Do you right want to know that? I, no, I Are like sure? I like hugging the Royal okay, Hager. Keep it close. It, bring, it brings me comfort. <laughs> I like that three dollar vase too. I'm gonna try to hug that one. Adorable. Here's a dolphin. The dolphin's not so great. Oh, Look at those. I'm going around. I'm gonna sneak around and hopefully not knock anything over in the process. I'm going to sidestep. I believe that's composite. He's so cute. What is he doing? Is he knitting or is he holding something up? What is he? He's in his little suit. Oh, is that his, his little vest? His oh, he's so cute. I like him. I mean, the damage for me makes it. It's character. It is. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Yep. He's a for sure. He's a for sure. Look at Would you mind handing me one of those? These? Are they wood? They or are. They are? They have a mark. They are? Oh. Handcrafted by Ron Naus. See, I like the shape of those. They've kind of got like a modern. I like those. I'll take the other one. 
If you don't okay. want them, I will take them. Mm. All right, I will take those. I like them. There's so much. This I'm, room is popping. You know, this was the first room where it was like, oh, this is cluttered. I'm feeling good about this. I love clutter. Clutter makes me happy. Oh, that looks like my Marmaduke. He's a black and tan coon hound, and that looks just like him. I absolutely love that. That looks like a Rottweiler, and this looks like a black and tan coon hound. Those look like my daily vitamins. So we've got a whole shelf of wonderful figurines here, and there are some that are catching my eye, so I'm going to talk about them real quick. Um, first of all, we've got this guy right here. He is a hillbilly hound. And what is he marked? Oh, he's not marked. He has names on him. Spirit? Sport? Sport. That is his name. Um, Morton Pottery made one of these. Grindley made one of these. And there were a couple companies making these hillbilly hounds. I love them. We've got another hillbilly hound here. These sell pretty good. They're Art Deco. This one is Mar Mar Marjorie Falls, 1946. Um... <laughs> I love these dogs. The other piece that is catching my eye is the bear. Um, I'm gonna grab the bear here. The bear is marked Canada. I don't know if he's stone or not, but I will tuck him under and my hands are getting full, but I'm going to keep going. We're gonna look down here at the ducks. There was a duck up above that I noticed that I liked here. Oh, I see lots of critters. I see dachshunds and I see a winky cat. I think this this owl down here, you know what, this is kind of similar to a hillbilly hound. I think it's not right though. This, I do like the little wooden owl. It's carved so I'm gonna grab this. Um, we've also got this is China, but he has a broken neck that has been reattached, so I'm passing on that. Over here, this duck is fantastic. He's missing his eyeballs, though. He would have had jeweled eyes, and he does not have eyeballs. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling here. I'm literally hugging my camera. <laughs> um, and I'm not really seeing much else. I do like these two wooden ducks. And I think I'm going to grab those because the price is right. Now you're seeing a lot of prices on this stuff and she is willing to bundle. So when we get everything up front, we are probably going to get a bundled price, which is amazing. So the prices you're seeing on stuff that I'm bringing up front, um, it's probably going to be reduced. What have you found? Double dot. Double dot Pepsi Cola. It's in really good shape. Double dot is what you want to look for because that was one of the original logos was the double dot. Two dots. Very nice. There's a whole shelf full of Pepsi stuff in there. I just have to catch this. Is that the room beyond where I've yeah. been? <laughs> yeah, we haven't made it that far yet. <laughs> oh, look, you found a little basket. I know. I a cheat. little shopping basket. Oh, I love I'm, it. I do this all the time. <laughs> I always forget. And I'm like, well, let's see if I can a little food. shopping basket. Oh, I totally missed the Delft. Look at that. We've got some green Delft. That's what I was about to show you. Oh, I see. It. Uh, I was like, oh, green delt. How did I like, walk right by that? <laughs> I walked right by it. Well, here we've got a Czechoslovakia little planter made in Czechoslovakia. This is actually a pretty decent one. There are some more common ones, but this one is a good one. Uh, back there, we've got some Blue Mountain Pottery. I'm going to grab that guy. Hang on. Boom. Here we go. There we go. Blue Mountain Pottery, we've got this guy. Um, I'm not really seeing much else up there on the top. But I think that's pretty good. Rooms just keep going on and on. Mm -hmm. We've got... You have one, three rooms. And then a this. basement. And a basement. So, is Andrew... Oh my gosh, is Andrew? Marco? Hello. Yeah, he's down in the basement. <laughs> 